Hello everyone, this is Josha Schmatt here and today I would like to create a video of full tutorial on a multi-phase simulation project. How can you set up an open form simulation for project from geometry over mesh setup, mesh creation, case setup, running the simulation up until the evaluation of your problem. Now, you might sit in front of your laptop, your PC, and you go through maybe my tutorials or somebody else's tutorials and you ask yourself, how can you learn open foam within a couple of days? A week or two weeks? How is this possible? And I, I have to be honest with you, you cannot. You cannot learn open foam within a couple of days. But a better question is, for example, if you're watching this video, a better question is, what can you learn in a couple of hours or a couple of days? What you can learn is what a case setup in OpenFoam looks like. Or how can you set up, run and evaluate an OpenFoam simulation? This you can learn. And I posted here a couple of examples, for example, the elbow case, which you might know, or the Pitts Daily case, and in the bottom you see the case that we will deal with today. But let's come to that a little bit later. And this is where usually tutorials stop. You have a case, you run the case, you evaluate it, and then you stop. But not today, not us. Because I want to ask the question, how can you, the open form user, implement the knowledge and the experience that you gain from this tutorial here today into your own application. So if you deal with a multi-phase flow, how can you take this tutorial and implement it into your own application? And also, if you maybe do not start with your multi-phase project, tomorrow or next week, how can you come back in a couple of weeks or a couple of months and immediately restart after a month of not working with OpenFoam? And yes, I did it all. I created Word files as uh, tutorials, LaTeX files, I created slides, in PowerPoint, in LaTeX Beamer. I, I tried all kinds of versions of tutorials. I even did audio and video content, as you know, or you know on my YouTube channel. But the problem is that if you have a printout of a PDF, then maybe you throw it away, or you have uh, the PDF on a USB stick that you left at home or in the office, or it's in your jacket that you don't have with you, or you left it in the car, or you have, um, uh, you don't have access to YouTube, so you, you don't, uh, you cannot check a tutorial where to, in order to answer one simple question. So the point what we will try today, and this is the first also for me on YouTube, we will use the most important resource that you need for your simulation. And what's that? This is the case itself, because no one, I do not know one single person, and I do know a lot of people who work with open foam. No one sets up a case from scratch. Usually what you do, you take a case that already ran uh, successfully and you modify it. You modify the initial conditions, you modify maybe even the mesh, and then you run it. This can be a case that you already set up, or this can be a tutorial case, like the one that we will download uh, in, a, in a couple of minutes. So we, what we will do, we will take this case that I set up for you, and what I did, I included short informative comments, not long comments because I don't want to spam you with a lot of information, 
but short comments when you come back later during your simulation project and you open up the text files, the dictionaries, then you can go through and then, ah, that's the answer to my question. At least for the most important information that you need. And this foam.foam file that you usually use for Paraview, this is a text file, which is usually empty. And I, I included a informations about the commands that you have to execute. So what does this look like? For example, here you see a velocity file. This is a very simple velocity file and short comments. For example, in the, uh, in the line of the dimensions, you see the dimensions, kilograms, meters, second, Kelvin. So you know what dimensions we are talking about. Here for the velocity, we are using meters per second. And then initially the velocity is zero, zero, zero. And then in the boundary field, ah, now you see, Inlet, we set the inlet to a fixed value of 3.5 meters per second in the positive Z direction. So may, if you come back in six months and you want to rerun this case or you want to change this case, set up your case and you want to use, for example, 10 meters per second or one meters per second, then, and you ask yourself, oh my God, where can I change the inlet velocity? And then you go through the files and then, ah, that's it fixed inlet velocity, this is where I change it. Then also for the, uh, the outlet, uh, I uh, included a couple, uh, couple of lines, what this pressure inlet outlet velocity means, and then the new no-slip boundary conditions, we can, which you can you now use on walls instead of the old syntax of fixed value zero, zero, zero. So this is an example. Or for example, in control dict, you come back three months later and you want to rerun this case, but not just five seconds, as you see in the line of the end time, you want to run it for two minutes. Okay, then, then you ask yourself, ooh, where can I change the this entry? I want to run it for two minutes, not just for five seconds. Where can I change this? And then you go through the dictionaries and there you can st see, we stop after five seconds. Ah, okay, this is the line where I can change it. So with this, I would like to help you answering the questions immediately. So we take the one resource that you need for in order to run your own case, and there I include the information. So you don't need a PDF open up, opened up. You don't need a handout that is next to your laptop. You can just use for the, the case for your simulation. You have all the information that you need. Of course, you can use a PDF or you can print it up. This is all completely up to you, but he, now you have the information also in the case. And that's still not it. What we also additionally will do, I want to use a one command case setup. You can use it, you don't have to. If you know all the commands, then just go for the commands and then try it out. You don't have to, but you can use a script that I set up for the case setup, for example, and then you can, which you can execute with the command sh and space and setup case.sh and then the end at the beginning, the end sign. And with this will open up, in this case, a gedit in Linux, for example, and then you have all the information available. Let's wait, I will show you that. And I will I also set up a um, script for the mesh so you can uh, easily change the settings for the mesh. Okay, but I will show that to you in a couple of minutes. Before that, I want to talk a little bit about the flow. This is what the flow looks like. So in the geometry is more or less a box, a tank, where from the bottom we inject uh, water. Here you see water from the uh, bottom and it goes up in the positive Z direction and then the gravitation works uh, uh, is applied in the negative Z direction and it pulls down the water into the bottom of the tank and with this we fill the tank. So what are the goals of this tutorial? 
The goal, one of the goals is that you, I want to show you a little bit about Snappy X Mesh. You posted uh, several times below uh, different tutorials that you want a uh, tutorial on Snappy X Mesh. Well, this is not a specific tutorial for Snappy X Mesh, but still, we will cover the most important settings for Snappy. Okay, so then we will learn a little bit about multiphase modeling, the volume of fluid method. If you already checked out my tutorial on that, then you might know most of the settings, but maybe not everything. Then what does a case setup look like? The initial values and the boundary conditions. And then we will simulate a cores and a refined uh, mesh a simulation with a coarse and a refined mesh and i will also show you how you can run the simulation with a dynamic mesh and then we will also post process it to a certain degree <clears throat> okay so again this is the geometry what it looks like the geometry is a tank and you see in the bottom uh, we have an inlet where we inject water, we will have an initial water level and we will push this water level up into the tank and then the gravity will pull the water down into the bottom and with this we will fill up the tank more or less to the exit but not, not, not to the very end of the tank. And on the top we have an atmospheric outlet. Okay, so this is very simple geometry but you will learn a lot with that. Okay, we will use the Interform solver, which is a solver for two incompressible isothermal emissible fluids with the volume of fluid method. So the, the most important points here are, if we are talking now about the theory, so it is incompressible. We solve the incompressible form of the con continuity equation, and we will also solve the incompressible version of the Navier-Stokes equations. And yes, if you take a look at the source code, you will find the density in the partial time derivative or in the divergence term. We don't divide it out, but still we assume a constant density in the liquid and a constant density in the gas. We can run laminar and turbulent cases, but we will stick to laminar flows here because that's enough information for one tutorial. It's a multiphase flow. We use the volume of fluid method and with the volume of fluid method, you calculate a mean an average density with a field that we introduce, which is called the alpha field. And if alpha is one, then in this cell we take the density of the liquid, which is water in this case, and if alpha is zero, then we take the density of the gas. And we transport this alpha field with a certain transport equation. Plus, so we advect it with an additional term for interface compression. And the flow is isothermal, so we do not have an energy equation. Okay, now we can start at this point. We will download the files from the tutorial wiki that I introduced to you in a previous um, video. And then we will have a little bit of fun. So where can you download this? So. If you go to openform.com, then you see here uh, an entry tutorial wiki. If you click on tutorial wiki, or you can just go to wiki.openform.com and you go to tutorials. And at this point, you can find this tutorial at, under my name, collection by contributors at a later point. You will find it also in the other series, but you will all, always find it under my name, collection by authors, and then my name, and here you find the multi-phase simulation project. Here you see the, at least today, this is what it looks like. This might change with time. And I really should update the versions because we are using now 17.06. So this does not only work for 4.1 and 16.6 and 16.12, but also for the recent open form version of 17.06. And what we will do, we'll click here to simulation project. 
and now we have um, the files so you can download a pdf of that this is the pdf from the open form workshop from the teaching session you can just download it if you can pull it or you can just here click download and then save as these are the the files for the training session maybe i will change it and you and use uh, the presentation that i just showed you let's see but what is more important for you, please download this zip file. Okay, so if you click here and then download, click on download, this will download the filling of tank.zip file into your downloads. I should have I already downloaded it before, so I really should um, use uh, the, the recent version, but let's and now we will take this zip file so please download it and use this extract it and use this one what can you do so i op or opened up a bash on ubuntu on windows and what i did i created a symbolic link that i just showed you in the installation video uh, to install this in uh, windows 10 and I created it uh, a link to my uh, Windows um, user and I am now in my my user in documents and tutorials so if I open up this Explorer then I'm my doc documents and in tutorial there is nothing inside so let's copy this from the downloads you can copy it in the Explorer filling of tank one to here and now we have the zip file and now we can extract it you can do it in the terminal or here very good maybe i personally will rename it just to filling of tank and now we have filling of tank and now you see something that you might not know this is what i encourage my students my project partners to use instead of using just one case file please or i would advise you to use three folders in the ge a geometry folder a mesh folder and a case folder you can use your own K, uh, folder system but if you are a newcomer i advise you to use this so you can separate the files in geometry i have sdl files so maybe i just show you it here so filling of tank filling of tank and here if i go into geometry here we have the sdl files which we use which we will use to create uh, the snappy hex mesh grid then in mesh we will create the mesh and then we will copy it to the case file so with this you have separated the geometry the mesh and the case and you you will not mix it up because the point is if you have 10 different meshes for a parameter study then you might be confused and with this you can here just create copies of this mesh folder and then you will have your 10 backups for your 10 meshes and then you can also set up 10 cases or even more cases within the filling of tank folder so your project your simulation project is organized this is just the idea behind it but now before we start with the actual mesh and case i will stop recording now and come back in the second video i hope that you liked this introduction to the simulation project and that you learned something a little bit at least i would like to thank you for watching and listening and i hope to see you in the second part of the video